So today I am going to talk about UTI in young females. UTI it is the urinary tract infection and most commonly it is the bacterial infection and the most common bacteria is the E. coli. Common is UTI you will be surprised to know that about 50 to 70 percent of the women will have a UTI during their lifetime and some of them will have recurrent episodes of urinary tract infection and the UTI are more common in the young sexually active female and the infection in females is twice more common as compared to the males. The most common route as I was telling is the ascending route that is the bacteria which I was saying E. coli which is present in our fecal matter at times it is present on our perineum from the perineum it ascends into the urethra and then into the bladder and sexual activity increases the inoculation of the bacteria inadequate fluid intake can also be one of the cause that's why it's important to take adequate amount of the fluids so if the bacteria gain access to the bladder the bladder will become irritable and you will experience symptoms like burning in the urine the frequency of the urination will be more there will be pain while urinating there may be pain in the lower part of the abdomen where uh, the bladder is situated and you will have the sensation of urgency like you you are not able to hold the urine and some of the patient may have fever or even blood in the urine what to do don't worry these symptoms are suggestive of urinary tract infection in majority of the patients just consult your urologist he will take the history and accordingly if he also thinks that this is a UTI he will prescribe antibiotics and analgesics and alkalizer syrup with this treatment in majority of the patients the symptoms are cleared in three to seven days and it is very important for the young married females that always inform your doctor whether you have missed period or not because if there is a pregnancy and UTI then we have to be cautious about what medication we give in pregnancy as I was saying that symptoms usually resolve in three to seven days now if the symptoms does not resolve or the symptoms worsen up or you are having fever then you will need diagnostic tests there will be some urine tests and the ultrasound to check the kidney bladder or whether there is any other cause or not whether there is any small stone or not which might be the cause of such symptoms also so this was about the diagnosis and the treatment of the UTI now how can you prevent urinary tract infection now for the females one of the important thing is please don't hold urine for a longer period of time empty it at regular interval if you have a urge to urinate please go for it don't unnecessarily prolong the holding of urine local hygiene everyone know it's very important keep the genital area clean and every day when you bath please wash the genitalia well and whenever it is feasible please urinate after the sexual intercourse it has been seen that this decreases the chances of UTI and clean the genitalia before and after sexual intercourse and before intercourse also if you feel the bladder is full please empty the bladder is when you are cleaning the genitalia because as I have said that the bacteria are present around in the perianal region or the perineum so whenever you are cleaning after passing motion now don't wipe from back to front because it can make the bacteria travel to the urinary system so always wipe from front and the most important point is drink plenty of fluids 
this is the most important point to prevent the UTI because the only natural defense you have against the UTI is urine if you drink a lot of fluid there will be a lot of urine and that will automatically flush the minor infections and the bacteria out from the urinary tract so make it a habit to drink at least 10 to 12 glasses of the water or at least 3 to 3 and a half liter of the water daily this will not only prevent the UTI but this is good for your overall health thank you